information now on the man who confessed on YouTube to driving drunk and killing a man. Today, Matthew Cordell faced a judge for the second time in two days. 10 TV's Karina Nova was in court and joins us live from the Franklin County Jail with what exactly happened. Karina. Matthew Cordell is behind bars right now. He's in jail again, waiting to plead guilty to aggravated vehicular homicide. Now, Cordell was in court today along with his parents, who I spoke with, and they tell me they just want this over as soon as possible. With his attorneys by his side, Matthew Cordell stood silent during today's court appearance. In the courtroom, his parents showed support for their son. The daughter of the victim, 61-year-old Vincent Kanzani, was also there. Both families tell me they want this to be over so they can move on with their lives after the release of Cordell's video confession. I ended up going the wrong way down the highway, directly into oncoming traffic, and I struck a car. I killed a man. Uh, at this time, Judge, we'd enter a plea of not guilty. Cordell pleaded right. not guilty today as part of a court procedure in this case. The case is now assigned to another judge for next week, prolonging the process. It would have been nice to get everything done today and wrapped up, but the fact that we have a date certain that we can look forward to and know what he's going to do on that date, um, I think that'll bring Matt some sort of relief. In the meantime, Cordell will remain in jail rather than posting his $250,000 bond. He wants to stay in jail to, to keep you know people assured that, that he's there, that his message is strong, that he's doing this to raise awareness, um, you know, not in any way to, to gain leniency by any, any judge. After the arraignment, both families rushed out of the courtroom. Cordell's father, David, did answer one question on his way out. Are you proud of your son for releasing the video? Of course I am. Now, the 22-year-old will remain here in jail until his next court appearance, which is set for September 18th. His attorneys tell me he will plead guilty at that time. After his plea, the judge will have 30 days to sentence him. Cordell faces two to eight years in prison. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, Karina Nova, 10TV News.